What's up guys, Rexon34 back with another epic old school opening. We have first edition Legacy of Darkness. You guys watched the Labyrinth of Nightmare video. Yesterday it should have been. And you guys saw that we got some epic unweighed packs from a viewer cinnamon to be opened. So now we're going to open up this Legacy of Darkness. This is going to be pretty awesome. There's like 34, 35 packs in here. Hopefully we can pull Injection Fairy Lily. When you open a 36 pack box, the secret rare you can pull from Legacy of Darkness is Injecting Fairy Lily. So hopefully we can pull one. I opened a sealed box before and we didn't get it. So it'd be pretty cool to get it this time. The giveaway for this video. BES Tetran from Elemental Energy. Twin-Headed Behemoth from Legacy of Darkness. And Dark Ruler Hades from Legacy of Darkness. You guys know how this is. When we give them away, we pull them. So we're definitely going to pull these cards. Just going to throw that out there. If you guys want to support my channel, make sure you guys... Uh, use the TCG Player and eBay affiliate links below. All you do is click them and buy whatever you're going to buy. It supports me, so I appreciate it. Let's get into this. Heart of Clear Water. Maybe we'll pull a Smoke Grenade of the Thief, even though it did get reprinted. I think it's from LOD. After Genocide. This was later changed after the struggle, so pretty cool. Pretty cool to see that. Alright, next pack. Injection Fairy Lily is definitely our goal. Whoops, kicked it. So it'd be pretty cool to pull one. Also, uh, Air Knight Parshaft would be pretty awesome as well. Super Juvenation, Fushi no Tori, Battery Action Mochi, Robo Lady, The A Forces, like A Team over here, Dragon Dwelling in the Cave, Twin Headed Wolf. These feel a little bit interesting. I don't know. They feel a little different to me for some reason. They're definitely not fake. That's not what I'm saying, but they feel different than uh, other packs I've been opening. That was opening a little bit, little bit different time period. Heart of Clear Water, Shadow Tamer, Spirit Invitation, Bubble Crash. Yeah, there are a lot of packs in here, but you usually get like 9 to 10 foils for a 36 pack box. So we're hoping to get around there since we have nearly that many. I'm guessing it's from this box, but it could be loose packs. I don't know. Serpentine Princess. After Genocide again, another of the After Genocide rare. Robotic Knight. Soul Demolition. This set came out in 2003. It was the second set in 2003. There was a Labyrinth of Nightmare and then this set. So sixth overall in the TCG if you're counting like main sets. If you're not counting like tournament pack and stuff like that. Ominous Fortune Telling, Mysterious Guard, Stamming Destruction, Spring of Rebirth. Oh, there it is! Air Knight Parshat! Awesome! That's what we want. Nice go format card. And let's check the centering. Legacy of Darkness is known for bad centering and this one does have bad centering. So. I've seen worse, but it's definitely not good. So that's what it comes down to. Centering. See these borders, the dark part. It's just basically if this the picture is centered in there, including, you know, all this. So, you know, this one's wider than here. It's, it's just kind of annoying. Someone needs to figure out an easy way to explain that. Because a lot of people don't know. And there needs to be like terminology for it. That, that would be understandable. I think that would be really smart. And it would save a lot of people a lot of time. I should probably figure that out. Alright, Troop Dragon. Finishing Mirror, Faint Plan, Fatal Abacus. We've already started off with an epic Ultra Rare. I'm pretty hyped about this. I got a beard hair. It's like in my vision, which is just kind of on my nerves. You know what I mean? You can see something, you're like, why is that there? All right. Maharagi. These are first edition guys. This is pretty cool. Throwstone Unit, Super Robo Yaru, Bark of Dark Ruler, Sousa Soldier. We got a rare. We can beat a giant dragon, dragon manipulator, and life absorbing machine. Yeah, smoke grenade of the thief is also a short print, I believe. So you probably you might pull one. You know, that's just how it goes. Skull Knight number two. That's why nobody had one because you could only get it from this set in Dark Beginning, I think. So it was short printed in this set, so it was definitely not easy to get. Blast with chain, greatest option, and illusory gentleman. I'm not sure how the. I figure the reprint has severely. You know, lower the price. It's probably like a dollar now instead of 20 Even though it is a super in OTS, it's not a common. So it didn't completely kill it. Frontier Wiseman. Azura Priest. Another nice GOAT format card. The card is clutch because it can attack all the monsters on the field. And then it goes back to your hand. A lot of good spirit monsters in GOAT, in the GOAT format days. And then you got Yada, of course, which is a nice spirit monster. I think this is the introduction to the spirit monsters was Legacy of Darkness. So... You see Yada there, you see Azura Priest. Tsukiyomi was later in Dark Crisis, so that's a, one of the best ones. Possessed Dark Soul, Super Rejuvenation. Fusion Sword, Murasame Blade. Nutrient Z, Word of Greffer, Spirit Invitation. 
All right, next pack. Can we get the injection, guys? That would be really cool. All right, Keishin. Opticlops. Nice. Spirit Invitation and Bubble Crash. Yeah, we feel like we've opened so many packs and we've like we've maybe opened like 12 or something. Which is a lot for a first edition. So our viewer came in clutch, sent us these boxes. Make sure you check out that video where he sent them in. Pretty awesome. Thunder Nyan Nyan. And I'm having fun opening them. Double Snare. We've pulled some really good stuff, actually. Tomorrow we'll be opening the Legend of Blue Eyes box he sent, which is 18 packs. That's going to be crazy, guys. That's going to be really crazy. Heart of Clear Water, Ominous Fortune Telling, Mysterious Guard, Stamping Destruction, Drop Off. This one's in like every LOD opening. The centering is always horrible on it as well. Just look how bad it is. Look how huge that is and tiny it is over there. Classic Legacy of Darkness. It's just very likely that you have an off-centered card. Very tough to grade cards from Legacy of Darkness. Super Robo Lady, Troop Dragon, Tristan of Darkness, Magic Reflector, Composure of Nature. Okay, we got a couple more packs down there. Yeah, these 36 pack boxes are huge. There's just so many packs in them. Here we go. Spirit of Spring of Rebirth. Great Long Nose. I think that's a short print. Throwstone Unit. Super Robo Yaru, the A Forces. Woodland Sprite. We got an upside down uh, Fiend Comedian. And. We can beat a giant dragon. Still more. It's just like you keep pulling out packs and more and more keep coming out. It's crazy. It's crazy awesome. A faint plan. Skull Knight number two. Dragon's Rage. Ryu Kishin Clown. Shadow Tamer again. We got a double. Life Absorbing Machine and Emergency Provisions. There's the last pack on this side. Okay. We've pulled two supers and an ultra so far. Uh oh another huge pull would be a centered tyrant dragon that would be pretty crazy we can beat a giant dragon frontier wiseman Ooh, he knew kagu suchi this is actually really reminding me of my 36 pack box i think we pulled air knight and he knew kagu suchi okay the centering on this guy it's about the same as the air knight it's not horrible but it's definitely not oh wait wait a second timeout this is better than i thought it was Okay, the top is not great. The sides are actually pretty good. Huh, that's actually pretty well centered. That's actually better than the Air Knight was. Actually pretty well centered for an LOD card, so that's really cool. Usually they're horrible. I mean, you saw the drop-off, guys. The drop-off was awful. Troop Dragon. A faint plan. Spear Dragon, another cool one. Yeah, um, this was a pretty decent card in the Dark Crisis format that I've been playing a little bit. Pretty well centered on that one, too. That's pretty cool. Nice to see that. Utrian Z. So now we're up to five foils. Pretty good. We're usually going to get, you know, you're going to get nine to ten per a sealed box. And this is not a sealed box. I don't know where these came from. Oh, these are dings. That's not good. Super Robo Yaru. Oh, Fiber Jar. We've already got another Ultra. Okay, what's going on with this card? Okay, is it? Okay, I think it's fine. Check out the centering on it. It's not too bad, actually. We're getting some decent centering on these cards, which is amazing. Fiber Jar. Now, that's an annoying card. If you've ever played against Fiber Jar, guys, yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> this completely resets the game other than banished cards. You attack it. You put all your hand, your cards on the field. And you shuffle up in your graveyard and shuffle them all back into the deck. Oh, there we go. Smoke Grenade of the Thief. If this had been opened before OTS 14, this would have been worth a lot more. But I'm not sure exactly, but it's definitely worth something. That's cool. Array of Revealing Light. We'll see if we can pull another one. That was like a $25 common, guys. I'm not, not even kidding you. I guess it was some sort of meta play, and there's only two copies or two printings of it. And it is a short print, so really hard to pull out of here. Frontier Wiseman. Bottomless. I forgot that was in here. That's a great rare. We're going to take that out. Robiyaru. Let's sleeve up the bottomless. Remember when we tried to pull a bottomless from uh, Champion Pack 4? Do you guys remember that? Make sure you check that video out. Champion Pack 4 opening. We opened... Uh, basically, it was an entire box worth of heavy packs. It was a sealed box worth of heavy packs. Serious Guard. Fusion Sword Murasami Blade. Robiyaru. And Wolf Axe Wielder. 
So far, this has been a great box, I'd say. Pretty decent centering on a lot of the cards. We've pulled a lot of foils. We've pulled really some really good ones. Super Rejuvenation, Bad Reaction. <laughs> this happens so much, guys. Okay, this centering is way better, though. I see double drop-off constantly. I think I saw three. I think it was Old School Expert. I had a triple drop-off once. So that card is, I'm, as I'm just telling you guys, it's in every LOD opening, sometimes more than once. That actually looked like it had great centering, though. The other one was horrible centering. So we definitely are not um, coming off the same sheets here, I guess. Opticlops, nice rare. Hunter with seven weapons is a super cool card. Whew. Legacy of Darkness. Here we go. Here we go. It's from Team Princess, the Robo Lady. Thunder Nyan Nyan. Gradius' option and Grey Wing. Come on, injection. Can we get the injection? That'd be crazy. I've never pulled a secret rare out of Legacy of Darkness at all, and I've opened a lot of packs. I'm talking like, if I finish all these, it'll be like 100 packs without a secret or something like that. Frontier Wiseman, Possessed Dark Soul, Magic Reflector, Grey Wing. I opened like 9 packs, then I opened like, I opened an entire 36, an entire 24, that's 71 packs. Plus these, that'd be over 100. I think I opened more at some point as well. Well, I've opened a couple more here and there. Super Rejuve, Robo Lady. Fatal Abacus, it's a rare, Wolf Axe Wielder. So I've opened a lot of Legacy of Darkness, guys, and I have never pulled a secret rare. Spring of Rebirth, Maharagi, Ghost Stone Unit, Super Robo Yaru, Susa Soldier, Secret of the Bandit, and Lizard Soldier. All right, we're on a little bit of a cold streak. We did pull the drop off, but since then it's been, we pulled a rare and a common are our big hits. We haven't pulled anything since that fiber jar. Let's see if we can pull something here. Super Rebel Lady. Ooh, Fiend Skull Dragon. That's a cool one. That's off-centered from top to bottom, it looks like. Interesting. Pretty awesome card, though. Pretty decent for Go Format as well. Okay, so what are we up to now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight foils. So we're getting the, almost a full box worth, it looks like. Because it was almost a full box worth of packs, but you never know when the box is open. Could be anything. Could be crazy. Could be not blast with chain. Great wing, nutrient Z. Yeah, and by the way, if you can't really scale out the injection, Fairy Lily, if you're thinking that. You know, but I mean obviously these were sent in to be opened anyway. But if you were thinking they maybe pulled that second coin toss, you can't really tell the difference between secrets and other cards when you scale and other foils. All right. Oh, whoops. I'm destroying this pack. Pack was destroyed. Okay. Injection. Come on. Let's get it. Super Rejuve. Robo Lady. The Warrior Returning Alive. Not a too bad of a card. Warrior Digreffer. Spirit Invitation and Twin Headed Wolf. Okay. What are we down to? We're down to three remaining packs. Three more chances. Can we get another Ultra? Can we get a Secret? Can we get something crazy? Maybe another Smoke Grenade? Cave Dragon, Skull Knight number two, Dragon's Rage. Dark Balter the Terrible, super rare. That's a pretty cool card. Dark Balter. Another one of those nice fusions. Pretty decent center. And now the White Rabbit, our first time pulling that one. Come on, Secret Rare. Let's get it. Serpentine Princess, Spirit Ryu, Spiritual Energy Settle Machine, Super Rebel Lady. Royal Oppression, cool card. Gradius Option and Double Snare. Or Devil Snare, oh sorry, wrong thing. Okay. Final pack of Legacy of Darkness, guys. Hope you have enjoyed, okay, let's. We have enjoyed the first edition opening. Thanks again to the viewer who sent these in and just provided us quality entertainment, you know, to open these up. Final pack, let's see if we can pull something good. Heart of Clear Water, Ominous Fortune Telling, The Mysterious Guard. Stamping Destruction, and here we go. Hit the like button for luck, guys. The Dragon's Bead, okay. Looks like my LOD streak has continued. It is not one of my luckier sets. Let's go over what we did get. We got some pretty good stuff. All right, we got one bottomless trap hole rear. We got a Smoke Grenade of the Thief, a Short Printed at Common, Dark Balter the Terrible, Fiend Skull Dragon, Double Drop Off, 
Spear Soldier, or Spear Dragon, sorry. Azura Priest. Fiber Jar Ultra Rare. Hinokage Suchi Ultra Rare. Air Knight Parshot. I think this might be the exact same box. I'll have to go back and check. You guys can check in the eye. I know we pulled these, and I'm pretty sure I pulled Fiber Jar too. So we may have just opened the exact same box as the one I opened myself, which is kind of crazy. That's pretty crazy. So thanks again to the viewer for sending these. This was extremely fun. Check out LOB tomorrow. It's going to be awesome. We're going to be opening up original LOB packs. Hopefully we'll pull a Blue Eyes White Dragon. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys later. Peace. The original art. Yes! Yes! Okay, y'all see actually... First pack! Yeah! 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 Yes! No way!